Hey guys, in our last video, we saw how to install Call Manager Publisher. So in this video, what we are going to do is we are going to install these two subscribers, uh, 151 and uh, 152. So let's create two virtual machines and start installing uh, the subscribers. So in order to do that, so I'll come here again and I'll move this Call Manager under UC Collabing and let's create the virtual machine next next it'll remain same and the host name would be uccin cucm b okay and the location would be this okay click on next we'll select the size is 110 customize hardware Select as bridge and select the ISO file 10.5.1 and click on close finish. I'll move this up again. Power on this virtual machine. By the time this is getting on, I'll install the second as well. Second subscriber as well. Yep. CUCMC. on next 110 GB customize hardware bridge select the 10.5.1 and click on close okay now I'll move this to the top okay so let's start installing the secondary server <laughs> on OK. It'll try to detect the hardware. OK, the, second, the third server is putting up. OK, let's stall OK. OK, so it is asking us to proceed with install. We'll click on Yes. So almost all the steps would remain same to install the call manager as we did on publisher. Here we'll select the time zone, click on OK, continue, select as no, DHCP as no, host name is UCCIN, CUCMB, and the IP address one dot 151 0 this is the gateway IP address so if you see here uh, 151 is the subscriber address 151 is subscriber so this is what we have put in do you want to enable DNS we'll say yes 192.168.1.175 is our DNS Domain name is usiclabbing.com. It will put the same username and password as what we did for publisher. It has to be same. It does not matter, so we'll put it as set, put this certificate information, the same thing what we have put in the publisher. This is the first node in the cluster. So this is the uh, place where we are making some changes. So this is not the first node. First node we have already installed as publisher. So this is going to be the second node. So we are saying as no. Then this is giving a warning. If this is not the first node in the cluster, you must first configure this server on the first node before you can proceed. Also, this node must have network access to the first node, which must be in service for the installation to complete successfully. So let's do one thing. Let's add the call manager uh, subscribers in the publisher. So, so this is where uh, this is the publisher. I'll log in into the publisher here, and we'll add the subscriber here. We'll come to the system server and click on add. So, in the server type, it is going to remain the same. CUCM voice and video. Click on next. 
Okay, in the host name and IP address, we'll put the host name UCC IN CUCM B. We'll put it as put it description CUCM subscriber. We'll click on save. So this is an important step before you install the subscriber. You have to add this entry in the call manager publisher. If this entry is not there, then your installation will not proceed for your subscribers. So this is about the uh, secondary call manager. We are going to put the third call manager. Click on add, see you same voice and video. We'll put it as C. C is our third call manager. And the subscriber as description. Click on save. So right now, if you click on back, you will see there are total three entries. One is for publisher and two for subscribers. So this is your publisher and these are your subscribers. Okay, so now we'll say is yes. Now the next phase of the installation will verify network connectivity to the first node publisher. Please select yes if the installation should pause uh after this verification to allow the installation to be completed at a later stage such as maintenance window please select no if the installation should proceed after the validation so we'll select as no we don't want to uh, uh stop uh, the installation should pause pause so we'll select as no so that the installation will happen automatically so it is asking connectivity to the first node so it is asking the first node information so here we have to key in the call manager publisher information so we'll put in the host name as ucc in ucm a and the ip address of the publisher and this password has to match with the publisher password so this is uh, what we have key in in the publisher. So we are going to key in the same information in the subscriber here in the uh, first node access configuration information. Do you want to enable SMTP? We'll select as no. In the last also we have selected as no. Click on OK. So this installation will continue. So we'll uh, go ahead and install the sus third subscriber. We'll click on skip. So the same information has to be added. Only thing what we are going to change is uh, the host name. Kolkata, continue. No. Do you want any more DHCP? No. Host name, UCC. I N C U C M C 192.168.1.152. Let's see if 152 is the subscriber address. Yes, 152 is the subscriber address. This is the gateway address. Enable DNS. Yes. This is the domain name. Let's key in the same credential here. Is this is our first node? No. Okay. No again. UCC, CUCM, UCC. INC. UCM, sorry, UCC, I, N, C, U, C, Y, N is not getting typed, okay. C, U, C, M, A. Do you want to enable an SMTP? No. Click the platform configuration is completed. So now the installation has started. So it'll take at least uh, one and a half hour to 
to us for the installation to complete. So once the installation is completed, then uh, the database replication will sync. So I'll show you how does the database replication looks like when the installation is completed. Before that, at this moment, let me show you in the call manager publisher, uh, how does the database replication looks like at this moment. So this is the publisher where I'm logging into the CLI. So there is a command called utils db runtime state. So this is the command which you have to enter in order to see the database replication. So if you see, it says like cluster view is three in total and it says awaiting subscriber for replication setup request. So it will not happen until unless the installation is completed. So it says replication not set up for the publisher and as well as for the subscriber as well. So this will not happen Till the call manager installation is completed and once installation is completed it may take around 30 minutes to 45 minutes for the replication to come up so this replication has to become two which i'll uh, tell you once the installation is completed all right we'll pause the video for now and we'll come back once the installation is completed I will take a moment to see where the installation is proceeding. So the installation is still going on. So here also the installation is going on. So we'll again pause this for a moment uh, for some time and then we'll uh, resume it once the installation is completed. Okay, so looks like the installation is completed for one of the subscriber and it is still going on for the secondary subscriber for the third subscriber it is completed so let's try logging into the call manager and see what's happening with that database replication i'm sure it is going to say like a database replication is not set up or not started maybe this should also complete in a while Okay, utils TV replication runtime state. <clears throat> okay, it says replication not set up. Let's see for the third is well. Second is going on and the third is also saying that replication is not set up. Yep. So let's wait for the installation to be completed for the second as well and give it some time so that the replication can happen properly. I'll pause the video again and resume the video once the replication has started or maybe completed. Okay, so let's start the video again. Oh. Wow, so the installation has been completed. So let's verify the replication on the publisher. So I'll run this command again. Geotils db replication runtime state and let's see what's the status. Sync status, if you see the sync, sync completed on six AD tables out of six AD and the sync status is no errors. So at this moment, it seems like two servers are come, all the three servers are completed, yeah. So if you see here, uh, the replication value here says two, so which means that uh, the call manager is in good state. If the value is anything apart from two, then that means the replication is broken and we might need to fix the uh, status or link between this call manager and publisher and subscribers and fix them and make sure this comes as two. But at this moment, we are good and all the publisher and subscribers are up and running at this moment. All right, 
I'll stop the video for now. In the next section, what we are going to do is we are going to install uh, I'm in presence, Unity connection, and use CX as well. Thank you for watching.